Okay guys, so this is just going to be a step-by-step -step instruction of setting up the Cronus Max for the first time. Um, what are you going to want to do is you're going to want to install the GTuner software to assist in programming the dongle. So go to cronusmax.com, uh, go to downloads, and then uh, you have to download the latest GTuner software on the website. So today that is 2.08, so download that. Okay, so once that's finished downloading, uh, open up the zip file and extract that to your desktop and then run the executable uh, to install that to your computer. Okay, so once you've installed the application, you're going to want to launch GTuner um, and you're going to want to do a software update. Okay, so once the software update has finished downloading, uh, click the update button. The program should restart. Um, at this point, we just want to double check whether the software has updated okay. So that's all good. Now, uh, now that the software is updated, the next thing to do is to upgrade the firmware on the Cronus Max. Um, make sure your dongle is plugged in via mini USB to do this update. Okay, so when you plug the Cronus Max in for the first time, it's going to pop up with a message saying that the firmware installed in your device is, is incompatible with the version of GTuner. So just click OK to launch the firmware update wizard and then press next to update to the latest firmware. So the first time I tried installing the update, it came up with a programming error saying that the device is not found. If you get this, don't worry. Uh, just press finish and try again. So go back to tools firmware update and press next to re-download and install the update. So after the device has been written to, uh, you might enter recovery mode, just press OK and GTuner will reinstall the firmware in recovery mode. Press finished and now your Cronus Mac should be upgraded to the latest firmware. Okay guys, so we've got our GTuner software updated and we've got our firmware on our Cronus Max updated as well. So all there is left to do now is to load the profiles onto here. So to start off, you're going to want to go to Tools, Options and Device and you're going to want to set your Apple protocol to Xbox One. And that is if you were going to want to use your old peripherals on your Xbox One, you're going to want to set that to EB1. So let's do that, Xbox One set, then you're going to want to go to plugins, and then max remapper, and you're going to want to create a new profile. So to do that, you just call it, you just have to name it, so Xbox 360, let's name it that. And okay, so this is what you're going to see, this is the screen that's going to pop up. So right at the top, uh, you got, it tells you what input you want. So uh, right now, we're going to load a Xbox 360 profile onto the dongle. So uh, in terms of the input, we're using an Xbox 360, 360 controller. So we're going to select a Xbox 360 controller input. And then in our output, you're going to want to set that to Xbox One. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, easy as pie. So... Uh, in Device Manager, you can actually plug in your Xbox, your wired Xbox controller into the dongle just to double check that the mappings are all correct. So let's do that now, right now. So that's our connection, USB connection. That's going to go into our Cronus Max. Let's plug that in. Okay, let's go into Device Monitor. And let's set that to AB1. Let's double check if everything is working fine. So we're going to press A. Yep. B. All right. X. Y. And you get the gist. And everything seems to be working correctly. Yep. All good. Okay. So right now, all there is left to do is to program it. 
So let's do it. So all you're going to do, you're going to go down to Programmer right there. Go to Programmer. Then you're going to see your Remapper profile right there. So that's your Xbox 360 profile. And you're going to want to drag that into one of the nine slots. So you got nine slot, slots to work with. So one, you could have your Xbox 360 profile, and the other slot you probably have either you know your PS3 or your PS4 profile in there. And you know later on we're going to install the PS4 profile, so we can use our PS4 controller. So let's do that right now. Let's just drag that across, and then once it's there, you're going to want to click this button right here, which says Program Device Slots. Click on that. Okay and that will write to the dongle so all good, do not remove, writing done, rebooting ok, then click finish and that's it so all that data right there has been stored on the Cronus Max so let's go back and do the same thing let's go back to online library and let's install our PS4 plugin so pretty much the same deal Max Remapper, uh, except in in terms of the inputs, you're going to, right, so set a new profile first. So let's call this PS4, and then output to Xbox One. That's it. Okay, get out. Go to your programmer. Your PS4 profile is right there. Drag that across into your slot two program it to the Cronus one okay entering program mode do not remove writing done rebooting okay and click finished okay that's it easy as pie okay so next I'm gonna plug it in and show you how to authenticate it and sync up your devices okay guys so we've got our Xbox one on and we've got our dongle plugged into the side of our Xbox One, as you can see. So right now it's flashing AU, 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 as you can see. So what that means is that you actually need to authenticate it before using it. So every time you're going to be using this dongle, you're going to have to have a Xbox One controller lying around and a micro USB cable to authenticate that, to allow um, to use your other devices. So uh, let's authenticate it. So to authenticate it, you're going to have to um, plug a micro USB into your Xbox One controller. And then the other side just goes straight into the dongle. So as you can see, this will go straight into the dongle just like that. Uh. There you go, and it should come up with a zero right there. That means it's all authenticated. So once that's authenticated, you can actually unplug that. So let's do that right now. Okay, that's flashing. So that means it's awaiting a new device. So let's get our uh, MLG Xbox 360 controller. And if I did this right, fingers crossed, this should work. Okay, let's set it to profile one because that's our Xbox 360 profile. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh. And it works. Okay, and I guess the next part of this video is just going to be testing out um, all the other peripherals. Um, I'm going to be testing out my Xbox 360 peripheral. I'm going to be set testing out my Hitbox, my Quamba 4, and um, the PS4 controllers. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Hope this tutorial helped and we will see you next time.